Hello, you lovers still the shirt. So you know I recorded this straight after the uh, Godzilla Kong video where I still have this pamphlet. It's really big. Wow. Um, I just want to say these pamphlets are really cool. I, I don't know if they have some in any other country, but in Japan, if you go to the cinema, you can just buy a little, like, book or magazine like a thing and you can read about the movie it's basically like bonus features on a dvd just in print form and uh, maximizes capitalism but i think it's pretty cool i, I i'm gonna talk about them someday more but uh, i think that's a really nice thing i don't know if uh, i'm from germany we don't have that uh, yeah, we, we, Germany cinemas make money selling popcorn, and in Japan they sell uh, pamphlets, and I really like them, especially if there's a very complicated movie, or well, like a slightly complicated movie. They usually have like a, a plan with all the characters and who is related to whom in which way, just to explain everything. <laughs> they love to over-explain stuff, and if I'm can't handle the movie like language wise it's sometimes really useful uh, pretty cool and you can show a uh, look up stuff and uh, hey and i've got stuff that i can hold into the camera here um yeah but i'm i, I came here today to talk about three things um first uh, once again about here the one percenter a little news update because we talked about their way of handling um the uh, release issues in japan we're going to talk about that first uh, after that, I, I was looking for my for my uh, uh baby assassins 2 pamphlet but i couldn't find it somewhere up there um so we're just gonna show uh here a green bullet uh, this is the super sexy Masayuki Ino, uh, but I, I guess you prefer the, the girls, right? Everybody comes for the girls. Um, very nice, nice ladies. Uh, we're going to talk about this and baby assassins. Um, after that, at, at the end, I would love to show you a, a movie called Chime. But it's all, everything about this movie is strictly digital. So <laughs> there's nothing I can hold up. So too bad. Finally, I'm, I'm making videos and I can't hold stuff into the camera. Uh, I, I could I could show you uh, here. I've I've bought a Kamen Rider uh, number two. Or Ichigo, Ichigo. I'm always struggling with his name, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. I, I like him. He's a, a sweet little boy. Uh, anyway, uh, one percenter. Yeah, we talked about the issues of it being released in japan in the west it got a release in england and uh, america on blu-ray like i have here and like i said i don't really recommend this movie but uh, do whatever you like or whatever you want but i, I said there were some issues because of allegations regarding the main actor tak sakaguchi and yeah, he allegedly um, harassed some women and did some bad stuff. I explained that all in the other video. If you want to hear everything in detail and how it relates to the movie, actually, um, you can watch that other very long video. I'm not going to repeat myself here. I just feel like he's probably not a very nice human and you probably don't want to have sex with him. So please don't do that. Just... If you like being choked or stuff like that, probably, probably you can enjoy it. Um, anyway, that's not my issue. That's his issue or your issue if you want to get involved with him. Anyway, um, yep, they, uh, uh, like last time I put a little extra part in front of the video to catch up with how the company Weber is dealing with these issues. And now they released a video on his YouTube channel. I will not link it. You can just look for it if you want to watch it. I, I don't want to support these people. I will just tell you what they have been doing. And I don't really like what they're doing. I just 
still feel like it makes them look worse. Yeah. So they made this video. Um, it's on Sakaguchi's YouTube channel, but he is not to be seen. And I guess that's on purpose because people will be reminded of uh, him. Instead, there's someone, I forgot his name, from the company Weber, one of the producers, maybe the boss, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm, I don't want to watch that again. Anyway, uh, the video is about the um, advertising costs I had, because I had a lot of like posters and banners and stuff. And in this video, they, they just talk about how expensive the um, uh, promotion campaign was and that they couldn't use this material. And uh, they, they took it pretty light. They tried to, to make some jokes, like the guy was, oh, I've got to work in the company to save the, uh, to save the company and stuff like that. They were just joking about it and Oh, so bad we couldn't do this and it would have been so great here in, I think, Shinjuku or Shibuya. They rented a really prominent space to put up their banner and stuff and they had to cancel it all. And then they were begging people to not uh, return there. Um, uh, you can buy like, um, what is this, pre-sale tickets. Yeah, you get nice little cards and then you get the movie ticket a little bit cheaper i think I, I still haven't tried i should try that because there are a lot of movies that i know i want to watch and i would get some cheaper i'm pretty stupid i guess um anyway you get nice little cards and and stuff and yes yeah, well oh yeah you can return them but please 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 we promise we will release the movie and um yeah basically bagging and stuff and it's um not so great and yeah, I'm I'm not very happy. They they promised several times the movie will be released, it will be released, and they didn't mention the allegations at all. They just basically made fun of it. They still don't mention the other allegations besides this one case where Shion Sono was involved. And I think that's all pretty ugh, and uh I think it just makes them look worse, but yeah, just to catch up on what's going on there, because I think it's a very interesting topic. Um, another interesting topic, uh, like I said here, uh, this one, Green Bullet is involved in this uh, topic and baby assassins and a janitor and the other Kunioka movies like uh, Green Bullet is basically part two of the legendary hitman kunioka series i would say and uh, that's all made by yugo sakamoto one of the big uh, heroes of modern japanese uh, action cinema he made some other movies um well like heaven's rush is a short movie you should watch on youtube it's really really nice it's just action and uh, uh, for example, here is this uh, Yellow Dragon's Village, like all these nice things he made and it's all very good and entertaining. And if you have the chance, you should watch them. I think in the US on Tubi or something, you can watch a Janitor and the Yellow Dragon's Village. I think maybe, probably, I'm not sure. I'm not in America. Um, and recently they announced, uh, no, recently not. Uh, Baby Assassin's 3 was announced last year already and now they put out some posters and the poster look really cool uh, especially since it's green it's not teal and orange and I thank you so much. In the movie there will be a lot of teal and orange but at least not the poster. The poster is green and I love green. Yeah and they already said like it will be the most action-packed, violent version of the Baby Assassins. It's now called A Nice Days and I'm very excited. I think it will be released in September and I will go to the cinema and watch it and it will be fun and great and probably I will talk about the other movies at uh, another time. Uh, soon there will be a podcast episode about Baby Assassins 2. We already did one on 
part one, but that's in German, and uh, I assume if you watch this, um, there's a high chance that you don't speak German. I'm very sorry. I will get to my uh, opinions, and I like these movies. Uh, the video is not, not so negative. <laughs> Finally, we arrived at stuff I like. I watched so many movies that I like recently. Uh, we will talk about everything later, yeah? We we'll talk about my Germany trip later. It was lovely, uh, good. Um, anyway, so they announced this movie. It looks all cool. But in the promo campaign, there was something like uh, they talked about the possible end of these two characters, and uh, that already got some people riled up, and a lot of people were like, "Oh my God, will it be like in a janitor?" We will talk about that in a minute, but first they announced uh, recently, now, now they announced something recently, a TV show, which is very nice, because I believe this is probably the perfect action franchise that you can put into a TV show, even if the budget is not that big, because you can pull off a whole episode without any action, because the characters are fun and you just focus on the characters and what they do and do comedy. Because, I mean, look at the first movie. It has, like, two action scenes. You don't need more. Yeah, so if, 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 you, if you can do that, focus on the characters, do it fun and entertaining, and they're very charming and nice. And I don't mind just watching them. Yeah, so that, that's good. That's a great idea. And uh, Sakamoto works on it himself. There was another director whose name I forgot and who didn't do anything that I remember, but he posted on Twitter that he would um, help there out as well as a director. I guess it's one of Sakamoto's homies. Anyway, uh, I'm very excited. The thing is, for me, basically, they ruined their own... Um, they ruined their own uh, promotion campaign for Movie 3 because it will start, I think, a little bit before the release of the third movie. And I guess it's a sequel. I don't know. Nobody knows. Uh, but it would make sense that they just continue the story because there's already almost no continuity between the movies. And I don't think there will be so much in the next one. So it would make sense that they just continue and keep doing it. And that would be nice and great. And you don't need to make a prequel where you try to make them look younger and... Uh, yeah, if I imagine you take these two and tell us a story before the first movie where well, they're like still high school students, I wouldn't really want to see that and it's probably too annoying to make them look younger all the time. I mean, especially Saudi Isawa isn't that young anymore. Like the, um, what's her name, Akari Takaishi? Takaishi is still very, very young, but uh, Isawa is late 20s. Yeah, Takaishi was born 2000, or 2016 was it, her debut. Oh, there's no birthday here. Let's see. Live Googling in the video. Very interesting. Oh, no, we're not going to do that. But she's, as far as I remember, still like early 20s, while uh, Isawa is late 20s. So I, I guess Takaishi could pull it off. Oh, here, uh, she's born 2002, so she's 21. She can play high school still. She's uh, three years older. But if you do a show, maybe you want to do several seasons. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Isawa is now 30, and she doesn't look that young. Um, like, even in the first movie, it was hard to believe that she just graduated high school. So please don't do a prequel. Anyway, I'm, I'm all for the show. I'm really excited to watch that. Anyway, um, it's all, all great. I just wanted to share some excitement. And then something really weird happened. Like I posted on Twitter that, mm -hmm. s yeah, probably they just uh, spoiled that they won't die in part three. And some very confused human came to me and was like, yeah, but they already died in a janitor anyway. And uh, that's all part of the Assassin's Universe. And... I was like, no, why would they have died in a janitor? And why is that, uh, 
universe. I'm very confused what's going on here and this very confused person um, posted some some screenshots from Twitter where people talked about um, talked about uh, uh, yeah, a potential assassin's universe, and I just saw on the on the TMDB someone um, someone changed their names to uh, on the TMDB, as therefore on Letterboxd, someone change the names of the characters to their names in baby assassins which is really really stupid and i will change that soon um because they are different characters they have different names and these movies have nothing to do with each other and uh that's really really silly and holy cow just because someone wants to prove a point they just make up bullshit and that's what i don't really enjoy about the internet people make up too much stuff so this so-called assassin's universe doesn't make any sense because if we look at one movie that's supposedly part of that it's um the legend Legendary Hitman Kunioka and Legendary Hitman Kunioka is a movie about the director Yugo Sakamoto who appears in the movie who's doing research for baby assassins and then meets this real hitman. So in the movie Legendary Hitman Kunioka baby assassins is fiction. So this is not set in the same universe. I'm very uh, kind of, yeah. Like in Kunioka, Baby Assassins exists as a movie, but it's just made up nonsense. Like as I said, the characters in uh, a janitor have uh, different names. For example, um, where is uh, Saori Isawa? Oh, here, 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 here. We, we have uh, Takaishi Akari's name is uh, Rika. And um, Saori Isawa's uh, character name is Shiho. A completely different names from Baby Assassins. In Baby Assassins, they are what called Mahiro and uh, Shisato. Different people. Yeah. Why, why do people do this stuff? It's insane. Just because they have this weird idea just made up a kukake and uh, yeah it doesn't make any sense if this would be the case uh, the legendary hitman kunyoka who's supposedly in the same movie uh, played by here a sexy boy himself um He's in a, in a janitor too, and he dies. He would be dead. He wouldn't appear in that other movie. And if we do this connection, um, he's in uh, Yellow Dragon Village as well. And suddenly he's kicking ass like crazy. And in Heaven's Rush, there's another appearance of Saori Isawa, who's not playing her role from Baby Assassins. It's all just made up insanity i i don't i don't get this why are people doing this like yeah i mean if if you if you if you have this idea oh sakamoto has all these hitman movies and it's all in his head somehow connected yeah okay cool i mean he introduces a lot of ideas that he picks up in the next movie uh, okay cool wonderful uh makes sense but this is not the same movie universe. It's just uh, people's insanity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no? Like, for example, if you look at uh, Yellow Dragon's Village, he starts with a documentary style people filming with their phones, and then the next film is a mockumentary. The next film is about uh, no? uh, Kunioka. That's a mockumentary. And um, yeah, he tried this assassin concept in a janitor where all these people show up and he's like, oh, these two girls were probably po popular, so let's put them in the next movie. And 
all the stuff. Um, this uh, genre switch in a janitor from a like more gangster thriller movie to a straight up assassin uh, action movie is similar to uh, Yellow Dragon's Village that switches from a horror movie to a straight up action movie and all these things. He, he recycles a lot of ideas. He tries in one movie and puts it into the next and that's cool, that's great, but holy cow, don't get your insanity uh, go too crazy because it's not a universe. It doesn't make any sense at being a universe and it's just people people yeah please stop this wow let's talk about one more thing that's chime chime is a movie by kiyoshi kurosawa and he got an offer to make a movie for a company that's called a rockstad and rockstad had this great idea to make basically nfts uh, as movies so they were like they produce a movie you can buy it for 15,000 yen there's one month's time to buy it as uh, 999 copies as if it's a physical release but it's a strictly digital release and then you can resell or rent this copy to other people so I, last time I checked their website um, someone actually tried to offer their copy for rent i guess um and yeah there was one copy to rent and one for three thousand for sale and all these things it's very strange um and it's just a, a weird concept it feels like an old school video rental shop but it's all digital and therefore it ignores the potential digital movies have that you can just give it to everyone and everybody is able to watch it like on a streaming service you uh, you don't have to rely on physically available things and um nft already failed like some time ago and i, I don't know why they come up with this idea in 2024 and this um, sales window recently closed last time they um, updated their sales information they sold about 300 little bit more of these 999 and yeah before the sales window even closed and therefore the movie was out to rent um, a few thousand people locked it on Letterboxd as seen. Now it's at 3,800. And let's be honest, I, I don't think many people watched it legally. So uh, what happened there? I, I guess um, my idea would be if you want to pull off this concept, maybe you should make your video like not piratable so people can't just copy it and give it to anyone who wants it um yeah sorry boys and girls that was a really really bad idea and since the sales window closed they never mentioned this movie again on their twitter feed and nothing happened there so i guess they realized uh, it wasn't a great success. I'm very sorry for Kiyoshi Kurosawa that seemingly nobody wanted to buy his movie. Many people wanted to see it, but uh, yeah. Um, funnily enough, I, I was curious, why, why would he join such a weird project? Why would he do that? Um, first, I think the company was involved in the production of some great films like uh, Drive My Car. But uh, yeah, still, still a weird idea, like wh why would you sell movies in this way? But there was an interview they posted uh, on their website and um, he basically just said, oh, I was curious about uh, making a 45 minute movie because uh, I've never done that before. I've 
done shorter movies, I've done longer movies, but never 45 minutes, so how about making a 45 minute movie? I think that's a really legit idea. Cool dude. I love Kiyoshi Kurosawa and uh, seemingly he doesn't have big issues making new movies because there will be two other new movies out, his remake of his own movie Serpent's Pass and another one that's called Cloud or something like that. Um, yeah, uh, good, good for Kiyoshi. Let's uh, hope uh, he brings us many, many movies uh, more and uh, cool. Anyway, that's it from me. I just want to catch up with these things, especially with the uh, Assassin's Universe. That's not a thing, kids. If you actually watched the movies, you would know it's not a thing because the characters have different names. It's not the same. And, um, yeah. Thank you very much. See ya. Bye.